In this short video, I'd like to give you just a couple of tips when building a connector part inside of Inventor for the cable and harness environment. This will help keep the segments a little bit more controlled and aligned. Uh, just makes it easier to route things. So in this uh, simple part here, I just have a regular plug, nothing too sophisticated here, really simple representation. And what I want to do is I just want to add a couple of work points that will help me guide my segment section really easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of work points at the center of a loop of edges. There's one. Hit the space bar and we'll do the next one right here. So I usually pick two points because this will help me to create a round or a nice straight segment into it because if I just have one on the outside where the segment can attach to sometimes when there's a curve it'll actually show some gapping between the plug and the segment I know it looks kind of kind of not a big deal but to me I like to make it look good as well sometimes and this just helps give me a good straight guidance out of the plug now another thing that I can do is I can also offset a plane a certain distance say yeah we'll say a quarter of an inch <clears throat> and then you could also utilize things like a, a work axis if you wanted to and then if you had a point it was an intersection of a plane surface so there's your axis there's the plane and now we've got a third work point so I'll go ahead and make those two pieces of geometry invisible save my part and then let's see what it looks like inside of an assembly so I'm just gonna go ahead and place a copy of that and right there will be fine I'm going to use the joint tool to place this guy here place it throw it right there and I don't want a rotational I just want that to be rigid perfect so we get that placed <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a simple cable and harness uh, sure and then I'm just going to create a segment and I'll explain why just a segment in a different video but what you can do now is you can actually pass the segments through the work points and then from there it's just passing it like uh, you might normally And so utilizing <clears throat> those work points helps me to create a straight segment coming out of that design and then it can act more like a real cord might. So again, just a really quick tip, using the work points to help guide your segment lines out of a cable connector can be a really nice way to control that behavior and make it look more realistic. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, have a most blessed day.